Hello, my name is Samantha and in this video I'll be orientating the user to the Perseus A500. Here is a main screen and the on off button. The light switch which has three settings and the rotary knob for making and confirming selections. This is the alarm silence button. Here is the electronic mixing unit. The oxygen flush button and the oxygen flow meter. When the oxygen switch is set to auxiliary oxygen, you can deliver supplementary oxygen to the patient via Hudson mask or nasal prongs. When the oxygen switch is set to add O2, the oxygen will flow through the back bar and into your breathing circle circuit. This will be explained in another video. This screen will give you information about your power supply and about your central gas and reserve gas cylinder supply. This is your electronic airway pressure gauge and the time can be viewed here. This is the back bar to mount your vaporizers and under the breathing system cover is your breathing block. The APL valve, inspiratory and expiratory ports, as well as the port for your bag limb. This is a notch used for the system and the leak test to include the Y piece of the breathing circuit. On the underside of the breathing block is your soda line, and next to that you can view your anaesthetic gas scavenging system. This is your manual pressure gauge. Some devices will come with an integrated suctioning device and the water trap is located in front of the suction. The external fresh gas outlet is located to the side of the vaporizers. Here is a pull out writing tray with a retractable lid and two storage drawers underneath. The brake is located down here. To lock the device, step down on the lock. Here you can mount your bag limb and there are handles and rails on each side of the device which should be used when moving. Now we are looking at the back of the Perseus A500. Underneath this cover are additional power sockets. These hoses will connect to your central gas supply system and here you can mount your reserve gas cylinders. Also attached is a rent to open certain cylinders. Underneath this cover, you'll find the switch that is used to turn the device off during storage. This will need to be turned on to operate the Perseus A500. For further information, please refer to the instructions for use or contact your local Draeger representative. 